I had a little hiatus uh, making the podcast. I try to get these out once a week, but I am running a busy clinic and doing real world shit. So sometimes I just can't get to it, but I want to get this podcast out this week. And when I look at my download numbers and I see the most popular episodes, it's usually like when I'm talking about treatment or talking shit about chiropractors or physical therapists, treatments just being lousy, they get a lot of downloads. But the ones that I think are the most important are really the idea of educating your clients properly, communicating properly, marketing and selling, because without those, it doesn't matter how good your treatment is. People won't understand what you're doing and it won't help you scale and grow your business. So in this episode, I wanted to share an epiphany I had probably going on eight years ago with an interaction that I had with a dental office that came in as a patient of mine at first, and then I went back and became a patient of theirs as well, and I really started to understand the importance of like the client education and my role as a provider. So in this episode, I share all of those insights and lessons that I've learned that helped me scale my businesses and take them to levels that I never thought were imaginable. I hope you enjoy the show. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Soft Tissue Revolution podcast, where we teach self-employed massage therapists a new treatment system that focuses on working smarter, not harder, allowing them to cut their treatment times by 50% so they can stay healthy and help more people get out of pain. Dr. Matt Maggio here. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the show. I apologize for getting this podcast out late. Uh, Usually what I like to do is get them out once a week. I'm going on almost two weeks here. Um, but here's the thing. I still run a very busy practice. I am in the real world doing real world shit. Um, nothing pisses me off more than people on the internet that are training and teaching people that are self-proclaimed gurus that aren't in practice, haven't been in practice in years and don't really know what's going on. I'm out there in the real shit doing real stuff practicing what I preach. And sometimes I just get really busy and I can make the podcast, but I'm making it a priority to get it out this week. So this is one of those podcasts where I talked about in the intro, you know, everyone loves when I talk about treatment and technique and talking shit about chiropractors and physical therapists, because they, they, they do deserve that because what they're doing is it sucks. It's not helping anything. Those are my most downloaded episodes. But when I get into like the weeds of things and like real shit that you can use, especially for your business and marketing and sales, they don't get as much um, reach. And I get it. You know, we just want to focus on the treatment. The treatment is the foundation. It is the most important part of that. And you got to get really fucking good at what you do. Because if you're not, it doesn't matter if you market and sell it. But so many people that are struggling not charging enough, um, not getting buy-in from the clients because they're not educating and communicating properly. This comes from your marketing, your education, and your sales. So this is one of those ones where I'm going to teach you some stuff about marketing, education for the client, and pricing. What I learned from a dental practice that changed my own business and how I educate clients. So what's the purpose of a business? I talk about this a lot. Purpose of business is really only two things. One, help as many people as possible to solve problems. If you're doing those two things, you're gonna have a pretty good business. Uh, Most people aren't solving problems and they're not helping as many people as they possibly could because they're trading their time for their money and not selling to the result. I talk about this all the time. You can do shorter treatment times. They are better, they're more effective, they're more cost um, positive. For you as a practitioner, you just got to get that out of your head and understand that you don't have to spend an hour with someone. You can get a lot of fucking work done in 15 to 20 minute sessions spread out over a couple of weeks, but I digress on that. So I remember this was, ah, shit, this is going on probably like 2014, 2015. I'd been in practice for like ah, three or four years and I was doing okay. You know, at that point in my practice, I was still just putting all my resources and energy, any money that I got that came into the practice, I was putting back into my training. I was flying all over the country, taking every course possible you could think of and just getting really fucking good at what I did. And I was getting better and I was getting results that I wasn't getting before. And I I knew I was doing better, but financially I was like, I was still struggling. I was having a hard time getting people to stick around. Um, you know, invest in the care, you know, they do like three or four visits. They'd feel a little bit better than they'd wash out or people would like, 
get pissed at me because um, I didn't take insurance. And I was just, I was kind of struggling, you know, and I was like, all right, you know, just keep pushing, keep grinding. This is going to be okay. And just get better and better at your treatment and just do more and more skills. You know, it's that shiny object syndrome. We think we just need more and more and more skills instead of understanding there's more to the business and more to the marketing and the practice than just being really good at what you do. It's the, it's the foundation. But if you can't sell it and you can't communicate it effectively, you're never going to grow. And that's where I was like really stagnant in my income, my practice growth, my potential. And when I wasn't making the money that I thought I deserved, it, it can mess with you mentally too. It can kind of fuck with you a little bit. You're like, man, I'm spending all this money and all this time to get better, but I'm not really getting ahead. I'm kind of just stagnant from where I am. So one day I had a, a dentist reach out to me. He had heard about me from another um, client or patient. I don't remember what happened. Um, their story was they had been in the, the dental practice for well over 30 years. They owned multiple businesses and practices, very successful, multimillionaire kind of stuff, you know, and very good in the business side of things. And they reached out to me because they'd been having back problems for going on like 10 years. They they did everything. They did stem cells. They did injections. They saw every specialist you could think of, you know, tens and thousands, tens and thousands of dollars spent trying to get a solution for this problem. And it was getting worse. And now it was getting to the point where they couldn't work anymore and they couldn't run the business and the practice. And they were really starting to get freaked out and scared because it's like, if they couldn't be part of the practice, they were fucked. And the problem with this dentist was, he didn't have a lot of time. You know, he's running a busy, busy practice. And what I always say is that people that have a lot of money tend to not have a lot of time. And that's where those are the people you want to go after. You know, the people that really appreciate their time and, and they value it and they'll pay more to get their time back. But he was he was struggling. You know, he was like, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do. You know, he was getting ready to like groom his son-in-law in the practice, but he wasn't ready yet. And he's like, man, if I... If I got to sit out these next couple of years, I'm fucked, like in the nicest way possible. And I was like, oh, okay. So he, he came in and went through my process as the patient and we just got to know each other better. And then he really was impressed with what I was doing. And he was impressed that I was getting results quicker and faster, more sustainable. But he started opening up to me a little bit more about like my perception of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. You know, and he, first thing he said to me was, you're just not charging enough for what you do. And I didn't take you seriously at first because, you know, your prices were so low compared to all the other stuff I, I, I went and tried. And I was like, oh, this can't work if he's not charging correctly. So he had some doubt in there as well. And just the whole idea of too, of like educating, like the process and what's going on and the importance of it. He continued to ask me more and more questions. At first I was like, man, he's really annoying. He's asking me so many questions, but at the end of the day, he was just very analytical and curious about what we were doing. And I realized the importance of like communicating and educating the client on the process about what to do, how to help and what's working and what's not working. And it really opened my eyes. And I realized that there was two parts that I was really missing. You know, first was just the client uh, education role of everything. And the other one was just my role as a provider. And I wanted to share that this week on the podcast. So Number one, client education. You know, this is the boring stuff. This is the shit that we don't want to do. Like continuing to tell the client every single time, hey, treatment's working. This is what I'm doing. This is how I'm helping. This is what I need you to do in between. Don't do dumb shit so we can get this problem fixed. And what I realized is my education was all off. And I learned this from just when I went into his practice as a uh, patient myself and I started seeing all this and it was just eye-opening for me and totally changed my whole perspective on everything. Um, the first thing I realized was an injury is just like a bad tooth. Think about that. An injury is just like a bad tooth. When your tooth hurts, you're in excruciating pain. You'll do whatever you can to get rid of that pain. You don't care how the dentist is going to pull it out or how they're going to drill it or what special tools they're going to use. You just want that tooth pain to go away. It's the same thing when you communicate effectively to the clients about how you're going to help fix their pain. Pain is a nuisance. Pain motivates people to take action and do things what they need to do. And you have to market and sell that way of being a pain solution specialist. Another thing that I started seeing 
you know, a lot of clients come in and they search, you know, Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, and you got all these gurus out there just telling them, oh, just stretch and roll it and take care. You know, here's how to here's how to fix it, you know, with stretching and rolling and Jamie Lacrosse ball in here and these corrective exercises. And I started thinking, shit, can you imagine if you had a really bad cavity and your tooth was fucking throbbing and aching and hurting all the time? The last thing that you would want to do is go in there and brush it, brush it real hard and floss it and just fuck with it. It would feel a lot worse. And that's what was happening is I was showing all the clients like all this self-care, self-treatment stuff that was actually counterproductive to what I did because it wasn't helping. It was making things worse. And then they would look at it and be like, well, fuck off. My neck hurts. I'll just jam this lacrosse ball in here like Dr. Majo showed me. And I won't make an appointment quite yet. I'll just see how it goes. And that is so dangerous and just so off of your messaging. They're not looking at you as that person that's going to provide that result and actually help them get out of pain. Our next thing I realized was selling to the result is more important than selling your time. And a lot of things that we started doing was measuring and giving um, real numbers about what was going on. Be like, hey, right now your shoulder's functioning at 40%. Based off what I found on examination, I believe we can get you up to 80 to 85%. And selling to that result, instead of being like, oh, it's gonna take three, four, five, six, seven, ten 10 visits, it's like, hey, I'm gonna sell to this result and you're gonna pay me when I get this result. Another thing that really stuck out for me was showing like real data. Uh, I had a cavity in my tooth and they had this like fancy digital camera that took a picture of my tooth and showed me my cavity. Then they went in, drilled it out, and then showed me after my cavity was gone. I was like, holy shit, that's real data. That's what I really started instituting in my own business, in my own practice, like pictures and photos. Because you can't lie with that. Because so many practitioners focus so much on what, like, what's called subjective data. Like, hey, how do you feel? And that can be so many different problems there. You know, People can be, have a lot of shit going on. But if you focus on objective data, like real movement, real function, and how they're moving, it's gonna make a bigger difference um, in just helping the client know they're making progress, giving compliance across the board, and also just helping you know that you're doing the right thing. Then it was just the idea of like continued treatment, and they explained to me, you know, hey, we got this, we're gonna drill this cavity out there, and then explain the process, like, hey, if you're good about brushing and flossing and not eating a bunch of shit, you don't have to get another cavity, and then every once in a while, you come in and get a deep clean, um, before it becomes a problem. what That's what I realized as well is like, we're really anti-maintenance um, in the musculoskeletal world. It's just like, oh yeah, we're gonna treat you. And you know, hopefully you never have to come back. That's bullshit. People beat up their bodies. They need this care more than anything else out there. And then I realized it's like explaining to the client, it's a process. Hey, we're gonna get rid of this cavity. And then, hey, if you're good in between, you know, like you move, you get off your ass, you eat good food, you drink water, do some exercise. It's kind of like brushing and flossing your teeth. It's going to keep them healthy. And then every once in a while, you come in and you get a deep clean before it becomes a problem. That's how I really got people to stick on that maintenance model where they just come in once a month or once every two months and we just keep things clean because people tend to forget how bad they were and you don't want them to go back from there. So that's what I saw from like the client education standpoint of everything. And it totally changed like my compliance with my clients. Um, them sticking to the process and, and really understanding what I'm doing and how I'm providing a solution. So my the next thing I looked at it was like the role of the provider. And I already said this before, is that's when I really understood the idea of like, you need to sell to a result, not sell your time. And this is when I started implementing what's called the case fee model, where basically you just pay me upfront for a result. And what we would do is like, we would just charge something like anywhere between like two and four thousand dollars depending on how severe it was and they would have unlimited treatment for at least 60 days but this would allow me to go in there and fix it as quick as possible but also get paid accordingly as well they're not watching the clock they're not like oh well you know i need you to spend more time with me they're just happy that they're feeling better they're doing better and it just allows a better commitment across the board for the client as well and understanding like you can't if you're selling your time you're stuck you're never going to be able to grow but if you can sell the result if you can do it in 10 or 15 minutes over a series of visits better than someone that takes like two or three hours, you're way more valuable. Because like I said earlier, this person did not have a lot of time, but they had a lot of money. So they would they would pay for speed, they'll pay for expertise. And that's when you become that solution provider. Uh, the next thing I started learning was this 
whole role in what I call a self-treatment fallacy. And I'm, I'm seeing this more and more out there with massage therapists and other practitioners like, oh, here's a self-release uh, for trap pain or self-release for low back pain. And you just jam a lacrosse ball in there and it'll take away your pain. So I see this all the time across um, Instagram and LinkedIn and Facebook, wherever you're watching shit. These providers are showing you how to fix your own problem and your own injury. So I was like, I was thinking this the other day. I'm like, imagine this. Like, let's just switch roles. Imagine if a dentist got on there and be like, hey guys, what's happening? Uh, yeah, I'm Dr. So-and-so. Today, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to drill out a cavity in your tooth at home without having to go to the dentist. You'd be like, that guy's fucking crazy. But this is what happens when you're showing clients how to treat themselves. They don't take you serious as a healthcare provider. They're going to try those things first before they ever come in and see you. And and then a lot of times their problem's gonna get a lot fucking worse. It's gonna be more beat up and you're gonna miss that window of opportunity to help them. And then they're gonna end up at a more, as they see it, qualified practitioner, you know, the chiropractor or physical therapist or even the orthopedic doctor, which are just gonna fuck things up. But you miss that window. Quit showing people how to fix their own injury. You wouldn't show them how to drill out their own cavity. Uh, next thing I learned is just having that clear, clear outcome. And that's with like pictures and videos and real real data. It's like, Hey, we're done when you can do this. And it helps the client understand, Hey, this is where we're going, where we shift. You know, I broke my system into phases, you know, phase one, two, and three, one is heal the tissue, two is repair the tissue, then strengthen the tissue and have a plan. And when you have a plan, the client's like, Oh, this guy knows this guy or gal knows what the fuck they're doing. Wow. This is awesome. They got a plan and I know what I'm going to be better. And I know what I need to do. Compliance goes up. So so many of us, and I was for so long, are stuck being what I call the dental hygienist. Like, the hygienist is important. You know, they keep your teeth clean. They keep things functioning well. And so much of treatment out there, I think, is more of like a maintenance type of thing. You know, like stretching, rolling, traditional massage, cupping. I don't know, whatever the fuck. Lymphatic draining. Whatever you do, like, sure, that stuff's important. But it's kind of like the brushing and flossing side of things. It's not going to fix a really bad cavity. I want to go after the people that got that real bad fucking cavity that are in a lot of pain. They're struggling and they want to get better. Those are the people that I want to go after. And if you're continuing to be the hygienist, you're going to be stuck in charging the same as everyone else around there. You're not going to have as much time because you can only do it in a certain amount. And you're just not going to be taken seriously uh, across the board. So what I want you to do is I want you to be the dentist. I want you to be the dentist, which is awesome because you get to solve problems and they're not watching the clock. Imagine if you went to the dentist and they booked out like 30 minutes for a drilling and but he he or she was able to get that cavity out in 10 minutes. You wouldn't look at the clock and be like, "Hey doc, you know, uh my tooth feels better, but you know, we had 30 minutes scheduled. So I'm going to need you to go back in there and keep drilling and make me feel like shit." They would never do that. They're selling the result, not selling the time. Once again, the world needs more solution providers. That is the goal of a business. Help more people solve more problems. And this is what I learned. You have to market yourself as a solution for the problem. And then get really fucking good at what you do. And then do it faster, quicker, and better than anyone else out there. And then nobody can fuck with you. So that's all I got for the podcast. Hope it gave you some insight. I hope you stuck through till the end because I think this is some really important shit that can help you get the business and life that you deserve. If you like the show, give it a comment, a share. Um, go grab our free training. Just revamp that. Really diving into proper evaluation, critical thinking, figuring shit out because you cannot solve a problem if you do not know what it is in the first place. Also, all our CU courses are online now and in person. Uh, if you want to take one of those courses and get on that path to, you know, working smarter, not harder, working 50% less, reach out. We'll let you know what we got available. These courses are pretty good. I like them, put a lot of effort into them, and a lot of people have enjoyed them as well and got a new perspective and mindset shift on solving problems. And lastly, this is the most important one. Get so damn good that they can't ignore you. Appreciate you guys listening. See you on the next one. Bye. Thanks so much for listening. 
If you want help on the path to being able to double your income, all while working 50% less and being taken seriously as a healthcare provider, I have some great resources for you. Number one, get access to our free training modules and introduction to my system, The Peak Method. Number two, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Soft Tissue Revolution. Links to all of this can be found in the show notes. Lastly, if you like the show, please leave us a five-star review and share it with others that you know it could help.